Hello everyone, welcome to GS Core. Today in this session we will be discussing questions from current affairs and these questions are MCQ based questions and the topic of discussion is science and technology and under science and technology we will be discussing questions from defense technology. So let us start with the questions. First question is with reference to Indian missile deterrence consider the following given pairs. So we have four pairs and in front of each missile there is a description and we are supposed to find out which of the pairs are incorrectly matched. So let us consider the pairs. First is Sagarika. Sagarika is ma matched with submarine launch ballistic missile that means SLBM. So Sagarika is, is indeed an SLBM and it is a missile of K missile family and its code name is also K15. It is co its code is K15 and that is why this pair is correctly matched. Second is Astra. Astra is matched with first air to air missile of India. So this pair is also a correctly matched because Astra is developed by is developed by DRDO and it is it is DRDO's first air to air supersonic missile whose range is 80 kilometers range of Astra missile is 80 kilometers and it is it is the smallest missile designed by DRDO right so second statement or second pair is also a correct pair third pair is Pragati and it is export variant of Prahar missile. So this pair is also a correctly matched because Prahar is the surface to surface ballistic missile with the range 150 kilometers and its export variant is named as Pragati right. So third pair is also correctly matched pair. Next is Shaurya. Shaurya is canister launched hypersonic surface to surface tactical missile. So this statement regarding Shaurya is again a correct statement and that is why fourth pair is also correct pair. So Shaurya is a variant of Shaurya is a variant of K-15 K-15 missile and K-15 as we have already discussed is nothing but Sagarika. Right? So Shaurya is a variant of Sagarika missile and it is hypersonic surface to surface tactical missile with the range of 700 kilometers. The range of Shaurya is 700 kilometers. Fine. So all these four pairs are correctly matched but we are supposed to find out incorrectly matched pairs. None of them is incorrect and that is why answer is D none of the above. So answer of this question is D. Next question. Consider the following statements with, referen with reference to India's airborne early warning and control system, AWACS system of India. Let us consider the statements. First is the Falcon AWACS operational in Indian Air Force is procured from Israel. Right. So this statement is a correct statement because the Falcon AWACS are, are procured from Israel by Indian Air Force and these AWACS are used for, for enhancing our air security. Right. So first statement is correct. Second is Netra. Netra airborne early warning and control system is built indigenously by DRDO. Right. So this statement is also a correct statement regarding the, uh, regarding the Netra which is indigenously developed airborne early warning and control system by DRDO. Fine. So what are AWACS system? What are AWACS systems? So AWACS systems are long range, long range radar surveillance, radar surveillance and control centers. Radar, radar surveillance and control centers. 
these AVAC systems, they provide information. They provide advanced information about the incoming air threats and that advanced information can be used to nullify those airborne threats, right? And that's why it is called as airborne early warning and control system. So, we have two uh, important AVAC systems. One is procured from Israel. It is known as Falcon and other is Netra, which is developed indigenously by DRDO. Right. So, both these statements are correct statements and hence answer of this question is C, both 1 and 2. So, answer of this question is C. Next question now. Next question is Avangard hypersonic missile system was in use recently. It is developed by which country? So, Avangard hypersonic missile system is Russian hypersonic missile system. First of all, what are hypersonic missiles? Hypersonic missiles are the missiles whose speed is more than at least five times the speed of sound and that means the speed is more than 5 Mach, right? The hypersonic missiles, their speed is more than 5 Mach and the avant hypersonic missile of Russia, avant hypersonic missile of Russia is, is hypersonic, is hypersonic glide vehicle is hypersonic glide vehicle that is HGV, hypersonic glide vehicle that is HGV whose speed is, whose speed is more than 20 Mach that means its speed is more than 20 times the speed of sound, fine. So, answer of this question is A, Russia, avant-garde hypersonic missile is of Russia. Next question now. Next question is, Indian Tri-Services Commando Unit has been set up recently. Which of the following special forces are part of it? So, uh, the recently established Tri-Service Commando Unit consists of special forces from which of the following, right? So, uh, the Tri-Service tri -service Commando Unit consists of special forces from all the three wings of, of the uh, military, right? That means it consists of Army's Parachute Regiment, then Navy's Marcos Regiment is also there and Air Force's Garud Commando Force is also a part of Tri-Service Commando Unit. Fine. So, all of these are a part of Tri-Services Commando Unit and that is why answer is D, 1, 2 and 3. So, uh, these, these services or these Tri-Services Commando Unit will be used for anti-terrorist operations. They will be used for anti-terrorist operations and one of the important aspect of these Tri-Service Command uh, of this Tri-Services Commando Unit is that it will increase India's ability to carry out more surgical strikes. More surgical strikes will be carried out with the help of these, uh, with, with the help of this Tri-Services Commando Unit. And these, sir, these uh, uh, operations will not only be carried out in India, but even in the outside of India, the operations can be carried out. Right, so that is Tri-Service command, Commando Unit of Indian Military which consists of regiments from all the three units. So, answer of this question is D, 1, 2 and 3. Next question now. Which of the following country will deliver the Akula class submarine to the Indian Navy by 2025? Right, so Akula class submarine will be delivered to India by Russia, right? So, already we have two Akula class submarines or we have used already two Akula class submarines. First was delivered in 1998 and the other was leased from Russia in 2012 
and this was INS Chakra. And this INS Chakra was procured uh, or was leased from, from Russia for 10 years from 2012 to 2022. It was leased from Russia for 10 years and now we will be getting additional Akula class submarines uh, for Indian Navy from Russia by 2025. So, answer is C. Next question. Next question is with reference to RODRA Rudra initiative consider the following statements. So, what is Rudra initiative? Rudra initiative is the retired officers, it is retired, retired officers, retired officers, digital, digital records, digital records, archives, right. So, Rudra is retired officers, digital record archives. So, what it is, let us consider the statements. It is an initiative for keeping the records of personnel of three wings of armed forces in digital format, right. So, this Rodra initiative is for, is for keeping records of retired personnel of only army. It is only for army and not for Indian Air Force or, or for Indian Navy and that is why first statement which says that it is for all three wings is incorrect, right. So, first statement is incorrect in this context. Second statement, the records are collected for retired personnels only. So, this statement is a correct statement and it is being collected, these records are being collected to solve various problems in the field of or related to the pensions of retired officers, fine. So, First statement is incorrect, second is correct, we are supposed to find out correct statements, answer is B2 only. Next question now. Next question is, which of the following statements is are correct regarding Prithvi 2 missile, right. So, Prithvi 2 is surface to surface missile of India, surface to surface missile of India. Right. Let us consider the statements. First statement, it is a, it is first missile to be indigenously developed by DRDO under integrated guided missile development program IGMDP. So, first statement is a correct statement regarding Prithvi 2. Prithvi 2 was designed by DRDO under IGMDP, was developed by DRDO under IGMDP. Integrated guided missile development program was started in 1983 to make Indian missile development program self-reliant and the, the, the mission was completed or the program was completed in 2008, right. And number of missiles have been developed by DRDO under this uh, like the Prithvi 2 missiles, then Agni missiles, then Nag missile is also developed under this particular IGMDP integrated guided missile development program. So, first statement is correct statement. Second, it has the range of 800 kilometers. So, this statement is an incorrect statement because the range of Prithvi 2 is only 350 kilometers and not 800 kilometers, right. So, first statement is correct, second is incorrect and that is why answer is A1 only. Next question now. Next question is, which of the following is R? the members of defense planning committee. So, defense planning committee uh, consists of members like national security advisor, first statement is correct. Second is foreign Sec secretary, it is also uh, foreign secretary's office is also a member of defense planning committee. Then uh, next is the army, navy and air force chiefs. So, this is also a correct uh, statement because the chiefs of army, navy and air force are also the members of defense planning committee. Next is defense secretary, defense secretary is also a member of DPC and last is expenditure secretary is also a member of defense planning committee, right. So, uh, the defense planning committee DPC is a senior decision making organization, 
it is a senior decision making organization created in created in 2018 dpc was created in 2018 and for what purpose it was created it was created to facilitate comprehensive planning for defense forces right so it will ensure that there is comprehensive planning for defense forces that is the that is the uh, vision for the creation of dpc comprehensive planning for the defense force forces right so all these are the members of defense planning committee and hence answer is d 1 2 3 4 and 5 Next question now. Next question is, which uh, India India would be acquiring Sea Hawk helicopters from which of the uh, which of the following country, right? So uh, these Sea Hawk helicopters are uh, are acquired from USA, right? So what are Sea Hawk helicopters? Sea Hawk helicopters are multi mission maritime helicopters, right? They are. multi mission maritime helicopters and they are being acquired from for indian navy from usa maritime missions or maritime helicopter right and these are uh, these are manufactured by lockheed martin lockheed martin is the manufacturer of of sea hawk helicopters right and these sea hawk helicopters uh, can perform various operations like the operations performed by them are first is first is anti submarine warfare anti submarine warfare anti surface warfare anti surface warfare and also anti submarine warfare it is conducting it can conduct these kind of warfares fine and also it is it is used for surveillance purposes it can also carry out surveillance fine so various functions are being carried out and lastly it is also used for logistic support logistic support fine so various functions are being carried out by the uh, sea hawk helicopters and they are being procured from the united states of america answer is d next question Next question is Vajra seen recently in news is related to which of the following so Vajra is an offshore petrol vessel vessel of coast guard right so answer is C Vajra is an offshore petrol vessel of the uh, coast guard and Vajra is manufactured by or it is produced by LNT shipbuilding corporation LNT Shipbuilding Corporation, right? And this Vajra, it has day and night capability. Day and night surveillance capability is there with Vajra. Day and night surveillance, fine. And it can be used for anti-terrorist and anti-smuggling operations. Anti-terrorist and anti-smuggling operations. anti terrorist and anti smuggling operations fine so that is the answer c is the answer for vajra so that is about this particular test so here you can see the qr code you can scan this qr code to attempt this test online or you can visit the link given in the description box to solve this test so that is about this test thank you